Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ELTP. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Don't believe we've ever done this one before, but I had a bunch of questions and requests come in on it. And very interesting chart set up here taking place. So we'll have to see what happens. But uh, one thing's for sure, it seems to have definitely uh, built a new base. And now it, the chart is kind of transitioned from the question of can it build a new base to when will it break out? Uh, and what I mean by that is you can see down here it bottomed out. And we'll call that level line. I understand that it dropped below there, but just trying to find a, a little middle ground because there's a couple times where the price didn't quite hit it. So right down there at basically 0.065 uh, is where it bottomed out. So I'll make that line green since that is still technically a level of support. And then from there has been sloping upwards. And you can see here now is where that new base is formed. But I'm not going to use that as a support. What I'm really going to do is, let's see, I'll use that one right there. There we go, draw an uptrend line here because the one kind of common theme question was, uh, you know, when will we know if the chart starts to kind of flip back into, you know, not being uh, as bullish as it is currently right now? And, it, and the answer to that question is to just simply watch this level right there. The reason behind that is this is now the uptrend that it has started. And as long as the price can maintain above this level, uh, the trend is going to keep on going. And, you know, after time, the longer this trend uh, becomes, then the moving averages will start to follow it. So what do I mean? If the price does fall down here, as long as it finds support there and heads back up, then it is still in an uptrend because we can still maintain and draw this uptrend line. So that's uh, the key and the, the level that you really want to watch. If this trend line is broken, then 0.065 becomes the key level of support where really no excuses. The price must hold it because if it doesn't, then as you'll see, the price mean or the price will then put in new lows and that's not a good thing obviously new lows are not good but if we can put in new highs that's the name of the game and that's kind of where we currently stand although it's not technically new highs uh, trying to go back to highs um, that the price hasn't seen uh, for a few weeks and right now the the battleground and the level that's kind of given uh, being the thorn in the side of the chart is up there at 0.074 you can see that I'm not going to count them, but multiple days the price has bounced off it. Today, actually, intraday did break above it, but by the time the closing bell came around, you can see it did still close right at 0.074, so that's technically still a level of resistance. Uh, but with a break of that, and this was the other key question I got was, you know, what sort of resistance are, resistances are we looking at with a, a breakout? The next level of resistance, not up here until this purple line here, the 50 day cent moving average, that's valued at 0.079. And then the next level of resistance is not until up here in the eights and that comes from you can see the price got knocked down there and then once again right there and that level is valued at 0.085 so 0.085 would then be the next level of resistance that you would want to see uh, the bulls push through so again support wise ideally you want to see it maintain above this trend line but if it does fall below it then 0.065 is the must hold level of support 0.074 is a current level of resistance, but with a breakout of that, the next levels of resistance are at 0.079 and up there at 0.085. And, uh, you know, obviously if the price gets up here and starts put, closing above these levels, I'm sure I'll be back to update the chart uh, at that point in time. So if there are any other questions on the chart, though, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter up there. When you do that, as you'll see, you'll get a free ebook. And if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader, I'd encourage you to check out our course by clicking down below. Over eight and a half hours of video and teaching and getting great third-party reviews. So I'd encourage you to make an investment into your education as a trader and check it out. One more time, this was ELTP. Thanks for listening.